even the strictest gun control law, uh, if it were applied in Arizona, we don't know if it would have prevented the, the massacre because bad people violate laws. There's just evil. Right. Well, we I think, disarm the citizens. Well, I think, I think it's worse than that. I think it's not just that it might not prevent it, but I think the gun laws actually make it more likely that those attacks would occur. So, for example, Representative Peter King from New York is talking about having a thousand foot uh, gun free zone around politicians. Uh, well, you know, unless you're going to have like Secret Service or having, a, you know, g electric gates or whatever around there to go and monitor everybody who comes within a thousand feet, you're going to have two groups of people law abiding citizens, see a politician, know it's against the law, don't go anywhere near him. The person who, uh, like the person that attacked Giffords, who wants to go and commit the crime, he goes there anyway. And what happens? He knows that it's less likely that anybody's going to be there to stop him. And so uh, rather than creating a safe zone, you actually make it more likely that bad things were going to happen. So for example, let's say somebody was really threatening you or your family, I mean seriously threatening you. Would you feel safer having a sign up in front of your home that said this home is a gun-free zone? Would that make it less likely that this criminal who is intent on harming you and your family, he said, well, guns aren't allowed. There's no guns here, so I won't bring my gun in. In fact, the opposite's true because now he knows he's going to be relatively safer in engaging in the attack because he knows that others are less likely to going to be able to stop him. And so rather than stopping the attack, it actually creates a magnet for those types of attacks to occur.